Good morning, how can I help you? Good morning. Um, could I please have three sausage McMuffins? Anything else? Nope, that's it. Great, thank you. Thank you. All right, I got you the two for two. No. You got the two for two, but you got the McMuffin. Yeah, I got three of them. Yep. Three of them. <laughs> yep. The last one. Three nineteen. <laughs> there you go. Sorry about that. Man. No, you're good, man. Hey, man. Awesome. Good luck for y'all. Know if you hit it out, you're going fishing. Yep. Good morning. Good luck. Thank you. Have a good day. What a nice guy. What a nice guy. What a great way to start off the morning. You gotta love McDonald's. Did you have three sausage muffins? Yep. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> God, I love McDonald's. Why are we stopped? There we go. Good job. go oil might taste a little like Powerade but that's okay we'll make it work That's where we're going, down to the bridge there. Let's make it happen. Whoa, look at that. Oh, there's a propeller in here. Huh. I'm gonna take this with. That's awesome, that's pretty neat. That's pretty awesome. You know, I bet there's a really good story behind this propeller. <laughs> it's on a rocky shore and it's got a bunch of chips and brakes in it. <laughs> Somebody probably had a really bad day that day. Check this out, guys. Got a little baby catfish. <laughs> what about a little baby? It looks a little weird. We're gonna put him back. There you go, buddy. Oh, probably because he's dead. <laughs> he's not doing too good. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. He's wiggling a little bit. He's about to die. That's not good. Come on. Yeah. I should be fine. I guess there's a reason why he didn't get away from me. <laughs> He's not doing too hot. That sucks. Ah. I should be fine though. And if not, he'll get eaten by something else. Cause that's how life works. Ah, that's really pretty. It's really nice. Get down here in no time. So I really like to fish around these pillars and around the uh, like the the rubble here. Not the rubble. The rubble. Uh, and like the trees and stuff here. There's a lot of really good cover and the fish love to hang out in this little uh, area here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see them, but I can see a bunch of little fingerlings in there and there are some couple bigger ones. A couple bigger ones, so maybe we'll get a bobber out and we'll try to snag a couple out of there. Uh, I caught a bluegill or two in this pond here. This little pool area. Uh, I've caught one out in this area, so they're definitely around. 
Uh, really quick, the super secret cover spot is over here. I'm gonna go check those guys out, see if I can see any. See if they're out and about on this beautiful morning. Oh, hey. oh there we go. Oh. Ah, made it. Uh, yeah, I thought it might be a little too dark to really see down in there. But there are a bunch of carp that hang out right in this area. I'm going to come back fishing sometime. Come back carp fishing sometime. And we're going to drop down and see if we can't pull some uh, decent sized carp out of there. It's still a little too dark to be able to see them. But I know they're down there. You, ain't, you're, you can't hide from me. You can't hide from me. I know you're in there. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get set up. Oh, there's one right there. Can you guys see him? Come on, come a little higher, a little bit closer. That's a big one. That's a really big one. I kind of want to get. I have a waterproof case for the GoPro. Maybe, maybe before we leave, there's another one. See, there's a second, there's a third one right there. Can you guys see him? Try to get a little bit closer. I have a waterproof case for my GoPro. Maybe we'll put it in the case and then drop it down and see if we can't get some cool underwater shots of the carp. That'd be really cool. At least I think so. Whoa, <laughs> I don't fall in. That would suck. Let's uh, see if we can't get some decent drone footage really quick. Son of a! Alright, let's go ahead and get our live well set up. I mean, uh, I made sure to bring the bucket. Or, obviously I brought the bucket. <laughs> I made sure to bring the lid, because um, I've seen videos of birds going after people's fish that they had in the buckets next to them. So, I want to make sure that that does not happen to us today. Let's not delay it any longer. Go ahead and get going. So I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but any that are about the length of my hand from the uh, from the base of my palm up to my middle finger tip, there at least to this line here on my finger, um, this like last knuckle. Not really sure what you call that, a crease, I guess. Uh, if there at least to that, then I'll keep them. But uh, if they're like upwards of 10 inches, I'm definitely not going to keep them. I want to make sure that they can keep making little babies that we can keep eating. So, that's the plan for today. First fish of the day, let's see what it is. Hopefully it's a keeper. It looks like it might be a bass actually. Ooh, hold on. I think that's a trout. Let me get my hands wet first before I grab them here. There we go. Is this a trout? What is this? Where are you? Yeah, 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 I know. Oh, no, 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 no. Guys, I think this is a rainbow trout. Hold on. Let's put the rod down. Hey, 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 relax. I'm not really sure what this is. I've never seen those colors. I think it's a rainbow trout. I'm going to have to do a little research. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the footage later. Let's, uh, let's make sure that he doesn't die, though. Let's get him back in the water. Here you go, buddy. There he goes. Guys, I'm honestly not sure what that was. I'll, uh, I'll try to figure out what it was and put it back up on the put it up on the screen here so after doing some research I actually found out that these little fish that I caught were actually river chubs um, so whenever you hear me refer to these as trout or shad anything like that uh, know that they are actually river chubs which I've never I've never caught them before this was the first time so 
I, I'm pretty excited about it. It's pretty neat. Nice. That's pretty awesome. Hell yeah. Oh, that was a hard hit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so, I'm gonna laugh so hard if it's the same fish. I think it is, dude. No, that's not the same fish. What is this? Where are you guys? Oh, this one's got some spunk. I think this is just a little shed, maybe. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe this is a shed. Ow. I am recording, right? I think that's what this is guys i think these are shed it kind of looks like a white bass but i don't think it is unless this is a rainbow trout i don't really know it's a pretty looking fish though I'm, I'm gonna have to do some research when i get home i don't know what these fish are that i'm catching i've never seen these here before or even like anywhere in the area huh it's a pretty fish though Oh, no, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, let's get him back in the water. Because we're not keeping him. Go on, get. Huh. I really have no idea what these fish are that we're keeping. Or that we're catching. I really don't know what these are. I think they're shad, but... I don't know, I'm pretty stoked about it though, guys. Seems like there might be a lot right in this area. That wasn't the same one as the uh, as the fish that we just caught a few moments ago. Those are two different fish. Same species though. I... Same species though. Oh yeah, good stuff. I don't know if I've uh, said it yet, but if you're if you've seen my videos before, then you probably know exactly what it is that I'm fishing with. This is a white trout magnet the uh silver uh i believe it's a shad hook shad head hook i catch everything on these so why stop now right oh that was another bite i think there we go we got we got one here there's like a big school of shad here, I think. Is this another one? It is. Okay, relax there, buddy. Let me get my hands wet. Oh, there we go. Come here. There we go. Yeah, there's a big school of shad right here. There we go. There's another one. That's three and I think over in this area, that's three casts, three fish. Very nice. Go on, get. All right. Well, since I, <laughs> since there's nothing but shad right here, um, I guess I'll uh, maybe move spots. I don't know. Do I keep? Do I keep casting here? I mean, I'm having a lot of fun, so I might just keep casting. That's not what we're looking for, though. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. My only concern. Another little one here. Okay, relax, relax. It's, uh, that's a little small mouth. You can tell by the uh, the coloration. There's no stripe, so it's not a large mouth. Yeah, a little small mouth here. A cute little fish. Let's get him back in the water. Whee! I think there's a carp sitting around here. Pretty sure I just saw a reflection of something pretty big in the water. It would make the most sense that it would be a carp right in this spot. I kind of want to hook him, but I also kind of don't want to hook him. Because I've got this little ultralight setup going, but uh, if it happens, it happens. We'll uh, try, to make, try to make the best of it, if it happens. Here you got another little guy. Now what we're looking for. I saw some bigger gills in there i was hoping to maybe get one of those guys but it looks like we got another little small mouth get out of here because i 
haven't had any luck yet doesn't mean I won't have any at all. As long as, long as I catch one decent sized gill, then we'll do the uh, we'll do the catching good. Just gotta get one. I've never had them before, so one is better than none. Man, I'll tell you something that I don't really understand. Some people are so good at threading soft plastics onto hooks and stuff and getting it like super straight. I do not understand how they get it on there so straight. The first time, like look at that. <laughs> it's all uh, curly. Got a little fish on here. He's still on, I don't know, but the wind tangled up my line. Is he still on? There he is. That's a little, looks like a small mouth again. Really? Not sure where the, uh, a little smelly. Really not sure where all the bluegill are. Where are they? I haven't caught a single one yet. I don't know guys, I'm starting to lose hope. I don't want to, but I'm starting to. Where are all the gills at? I'm just gonna walk straight across this. It gets a little deep here. Kinda hoping I might see a carp swim by. If I spook one. That'd be cool. Whoa, that gets really deep right there, Jesus. I'm gonna walk back. <laughs> I'm gonna walk back. I do not feel like going for a swim. I guess we're snagged. I've got to go try to get unsnagged here. I thought at first it was just a fish. There was a little bit of a give, but not enough. It's really deep, man. Oh, it was probably this tree that's in the water right here. That sucks. Okay, got a little bass here. I sight fished him. I saw him swimming down on the. Uh, Hey, 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 relax, relax. Stop, 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 stop. That's a nice size bass. For this area, at least. I sight fished him. I saw him uh, swimming down there on the... around the uh, bottom of this pillar. Couldn't quite make out what he was. I was hoping he was a gill. But that's all right. I'll take that. I'll take that all day, any day. Okay, I think we got another bass here. It sure looks like we do. This is a nice size bass. Bigger than the last one that we just got. Ow. Hey, 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 hey. Relax, dude. Please don't break the line. Stop. Dude. Here's a nice size bass that we're catching. I mean, he was barely hooked. Look at him, he's a little football. <laughs> he's a fat little guy. He's a lot fatter than the uh, the other one that we just caught. That's a nice size, uh, that's a pretty nice size bass. He's pretty fat. Nice and chonky. All right, let's put him back in the water. What we're finding, we're catching everything except for bluegill. <laughs> <laughs> We've got bass, we got shad, but no bluegill. How is that even, how is that even possible? <laughs> how do you not catch bluegill? Whoa. Wait. No. Hardcore parkour. All right, well, oops. A couple bad things happened. I got caught in that tree right there in that uh, first uh, pillar in front of me. There's some kayakers that were heading past and I got a little distracted by them right as I was casting and I cast right into that tree. Um, but we've got, I've already got the hook tied back on and I've also discovered that I have a little hole in my waders <laughs> which kind of sucks i was walking around the river and then all of a sudden my butt started getting wet 
I was like, well, I mean, I'm gonna try to not let it discourage me from getting in the water and getting to those uh, those better spots, but it is uh, it is a little frustrating, but oh well. It is what it is right now, and I guess it gives me a, uh, a good reason, a good excuse for getting a new pair, an even better pair. So that's all right. Still no bluegill. I cannot believe that I am having this much trouble finding bluegill. Um, it. I'm gonna chalk it up to it being fall transition. I'm gonna look up when I get home and try to do a little research and figure out where exactly they go during fall transition. Like, is there is there some kind of specific cover that I should be targeting? Is there a certain water level? Because I, I am not finding any panfish or sunfish or anything like that keep catching bass you know we're getting bass no problem but no bluegill okay we've got a decent sized fish on here I'm not sure what it is yet it's fighting pretty well though I'm gonna give it a little bit of drag try to pull it in here Let's see what we've got it's probably just probably another bass it looks like a bass yeah it's a little small now he's going behind don't get on my there we go hey hey buddy please don't put the hook in my finger thank you nice little small now there we go Nice little smallie. I'd say he's about eh, about nine inches. Eight or nine inches. Not bad, not bad. He's a cute little guy. Alright, let's put him back in the water. Go on, get. Alright guys, well <laughs> I'm gonna have to call it on the uh, the bluegill catching cook. That's all right. Well, there's always there's always tomorrow. There's always some other day. I'm not I'm not really that upset about it. It is what it is. But uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with those. Uh, I think there was three. Was there like three or four decent sized smallies that we got? I mean, they were pretty nice size. You know, nine nine inch up to I think the other one was the other one was probably probably like eleven or twelve inches. Probably not 12, probably more like 10 or 11. Um, which is a pretty decent size smallie for this area. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the biggest one that I've caught. Uh, I've heard I've heard of, I actually just while I was up in the parking lot, there was a guy that was riding his bike and he saw me with my fishing stuff and he stopped and told me about how his buddy caught a 17 or an 18 inch smallie in this area. So I mean, the big ones are out there gotta find them yeah I am going to call it for the video for today um, I've been I've been out for probably like four hours now since I left home and I've got a little I've got a little puppy waiting on me stuck in her kennel right now so I've got to go Should probably go back and uh, take care of her You didn't destroy your bed. You did so good. I was totally expecting to come home and see little fuzzies everywhere. Hi. As always, I'm rambling again, so I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already liked the video, please do. You know, if you've watched till the end, you then you must have liked the video. So help me out. Give me the thumbs up helps other people see my videos and it really does help the channel grow so I appreciate that. 
subscribe if you haven't already. You don't want to miss another video like this where I try to do one thing and then end up doing something else. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. It is what it is and you don't throw a fit. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.